Food and life such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? All right, here we go, guys. Butter chicken. I got three pieces of chicken breast cut up into nice cubes here. So my wife have never ever, or she tried butter chicken, but she ain't ever tried my butter chicken. I got a tablespoon, one heaping tablespoon of yogurt to the mix here. We got one tablespoon of salt to the mix. We got a teaspoon of black pepper to the mix. This is our beautiful marinade, all right? We got chili powder here. We're gonna put in a teaspoon like so. We got paprika. We're gonna do one tablespoon of this as well. This is gonna be the most delicious marinade ever, all right? So garlic, we got a tablespoon of this. Ooh, we got ginger here. We got a teaspoon of ginger into the mix as well. And all we're gonna do, massage this in and let this marinate for about three hours minimum, all right? All right, let's start with the base of butter chicken. I got a tablespoon of oil here. I got two bay leaves here. We got one black cardamom. We got a quarter teaspoon of fennel and one, two, three, four pieces of cloves to the mix. And a piece of cinnamon. We're gonna toast this in our beautiful oil till the aromatics come out. All right, two medium red onions to the mix. And all we're gonna do, caramelize this until it comes nice and caramelized, all right? 20 minutes on a medium heat. All right, once you got your onions nice and caramelized like this, I got five pieces of tomatoes, nice chopped and clean into the mix. We got some cashews. I'm gonna throw in a third cup of this. I was gonna say half a cup, but just a third cup. That's a third cup. We got half a tablespoon of salt to the mix as well, and a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna caramelize this again for additional 20 more minutes, all right? Lastly, I forgot one heaping tablespoon of tomato paste to the mix and let this cook for about 20 minutes, all right? All right, 20 minutes in, I'm gonna take out the cinnamon and the black cardamom here. We got the Vitamix here, look at this. All we're gonna do, throw it into our Vitamix. We're gonna blend everything purely liquefied. Purely liquefied, I don't know. All right, like I said, in Vietnam, guys, this is from Canada. This is from Vietnam, so you need a converter to use this. If you use this electrical in Vietnam's word or <laughs> Vietnam's word, Vietnam's electro, it's gonna blow up, okay? So you need a, is it called inverter or outverter? But you need one of these, all right? You need one of these box, okay? Liquify. Take this bad boy, take the sifter or filter. We're gonna filter and sift this creaminess through, okay? If you like it chunky, leave it as it is. But I like it a little more creamier, okay? Sift it through. Once you sift it through, the pulp and all the goodness will just kind of just run through. And the pulp, no, no, what the pulp? The pulp will just stay as it is. I feel like this will not do anything because the Vitamix kind of just purified it already, right? <laughs> what am I filtering out, to be honest? Liquid gold this is what you're left with right here. Nice, pure, soft, delicious butter chicken sauce. Remember our beautiful marinated chicken? I got a tablespoon of oil to the mix here. We're just gonna sear our beautiful marinated chicken into this pan here. So it becomes nice and cooked, right? All right, beautiful chicken complete. We take our beautiful butter chicken sauce. We're gonna add a little water to this just because it is a little thick. We're just gonna thin it out a bit, right? So don't waste any of this goodness. Make sure you scrape it all. Best investment you can ever invest in is one of these beautiful spatulas here. You don't waste anything. Woohoo! Ow, ow! Stir that baby in. Okay, I'll let this go on a medium heat for about five more minutes, then you're good. Just let everybody mellow together the chicken and the sauce, right? All right, last touch I forgot. You can't do butter chicken without the butter. Nice little clump of that. Mix that in. There it is, butter chicken's up, my guy. We just gotta finish off the naan, then we're good. That's a work of art, that's a work of art. Wait, one more, one more. Last touch, I forgot, I goofed it, guys. Cream to the mix. We got half a cup of this in. Mix that in. There it is, butter chicken complete. We gotta taste, adjust, salt and pepper for our liking, all right? Now let this sit for about five minutes just for all the sauce to mellow together. All right, lastly, naan bread. One cup of warm water here. We got one tablespoon of dry yeast. Feed this beautiful yeast. We got a tablespoon of white sugar. And we're gonna beat that in and wait five minutes for it to bubble up, all right? Once you see beautiful bubbles bubbling up, we got two cups of 
plain white flour to the mix. We got half a teaspoon of baking powder to the mix as well. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours and get into it. All you guys looking for when you're making a nice beautiful naan is a nice soft dough, right? Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making beautiful naan. Work this in for about 20 minutes minimum. Wait, I think I need more flour. All right, I just wanna say, I'm not a baker, but I just go by feel, all right? Maybe a little more flour because I didn't top off the, the bowls that much. But one to two ratio will do, all right? One cup of water to two cups of flour will always do. All right, once you got a nice beautiful ball like that, we're gonna cover it and let this rest for about 40 minutes minimum in a warm area. All right, nice and proofed. All we're gonna do, wait, I should have punched it first. Sorry guys, I missed the punch. Okay, little flour on the counter here. All right, it's been a while since I did this. It's been such a long time. Ooh, little, 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 little bad on it, but it hasn't been a while, guys. But look at that cut. It's been a while since I karate chopped one of these, right? So, anyways, what are we gonna do? Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing right now with my hand. It's been a while since I worked with uh, flour. Flour on counter. <laughs> Look at that, see? Nice and beautiful. We're gonna work this dough in. Flour on the counter, flatten this out. We got a beautiful dual here, and we're just gonna flatten this out till one centimeter, okay? All right, I got my non nice and rolled out. All I'm gonna do, hot pan. We tried this before, and look. We almost failed, but look at our non right here. Look how beautiful our non is. We had to do a test run first before uh, we had to show you, right? So, garlic butter to the mix. I'm gonna garlic butter my back. Get that flavor going, you know? We're gonna pan fry this for about one to two minutes on each side. All right, once it puffs up nicely like that, all we're gonna do, flip it over, get some garlic butter to the mix. 30 more seconds on the other side. Here we go. Nice, beautiful naan right out. We got some parsley on the side as well. There it is. Garlic naan complete. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Butter chicken take out. Order 69 has been waiting. Ooh, I made a perfect size. A little butter, a little cream. Just for a nice design. Pass it to the mix. There you go. Butter chicken take home. Wait, one more second. When you gotta take it home, I'm gonna take the garlic butter naan home as well too, all right? Let me fold that up for you. Oh, that's 69. Your butter chicken is up, my wife. Come pick up your order. Yes. <laughs> my wife's first time ever tasting my butter chicken. So she have eaten a lot of butter chicken in her lifetime, but today she eats my butter chicken, all right? So I'm gonna scoop my beautiful wife some butter chicken, just a bit, some sauce. <laughs> okay, the thing about this butter chicken, it's kind of like um, tomato soup, which you feel like um, it's a little, here, grab the, the skinnier one. The skinnier one's nicer to dip in. It's kind of like tomato soup, which you don't think it's kind of good because it's sour but i felt like tasting this not not too sour because it has that sweetness from the onion look at this beautiful butter chicken my guy try it my love okay we're gonna dip this in to the beautiful naan wait for my beautiful wife to take a bite try the sauce first ah. Super for this what you think <laughs> You like it? Yeah. It's sweeter because of the onion, right? Is it sour? No. There you go. Guys, bite on this. This has got a nice soup pump for this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it soft? Is it dry? Soft. Soft. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. so soft because of the beautiful, um, what's it gonna call it? The yogurt. Yeah, another bite of this. Quick ta! This got a nice soup pump for this. Mmm. What is your favorite thing to eat at an Indian restaurant? Garlic naan. Garlic naan. See, this is probably one of her best things, or what she really enjoys. But she's more open out to um, more uh, curries. There's a classic curry. You can't mess with a classic curry. Like, you go to an Indian restaurant, you get butter chicken, right? Chicken masala, then chicken biryani, that's it. But this is a must-have at any Indian restaurant. One more piece. Right. Beautiful.
crispy naan right here. Not authentic naan, but this stuff will do, my guy. Here, open it up. Let me slide set. It's got soup on this. Mm. Next time when I make naan, I'm gonna make it nice and thin. Mm. The thicker one is good, but I like the thinner one. It's more chewy. My beautiful love. Yes. From one to ten, be honest, okay? Ten being the best, one just bad. What would you rate my butter chicken? Nine. Nine? Nine's a beautiful number. Thank you, my love. I'll say it's a 9.5 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs>